can we say that the way I learned about how rampant discrimination is in online dating is from the OkCupid research site that Christian Rudder maintained where he documented so thoroughly the, uh, the penalty you pay for being African American or from being an Asian man or from being perceived as third world on these sites to think that discrimination disappears because we now have a chance to meet other people uh, I think is off base and I'll just listen to the conversation if you want to be concerned about uh, the persistence of these problems in the world online. That, that was quite a gauntlet, so <laughs> you'd like to respond, either of you. Yeah. Well, all of our data shows okay. that um, uh, more and more people, on, I mean, uh, in my data of 35,000 people, it was way down the list of what you were looking for in a partner. They'd really, 70% of, of singles on these dating apps uh, don't, um, uh, 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 would, would go out with somebody from a different but, race. But can we geek out on, for one second here to say that it's you don't not about what you're out so <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go a little deeper because, as you have said repeatedly, it is not about what we say we're interested on a survey. It's what we reveal when we act online. And if the data tell us that uh, African-American women get three-quarters of the affection and attention of all the other groups online, and that an Asian man would have to earn an additional $247,000 to stand on equal footing with his white counterpart, that's important information that we get from looking at people's revealed preferences through their behavior. Take the survey with a grain of salt. Can I respond? Yes. Yeah. Come good. So I'd, I'd just like to point out that Eric is citing us <laughs> We're the people talking about this. We recognize that these things are problems. And again, this is the type of thing that I spend every day trying to make better. And guess what? It is getting better. People are more willing and more, uh, more and more willing over time to reach out to these people. That doesn't mean that discrimination disappears overnight, but because there's more exposure to different people of different backgrounds, that's how we get to know each other and bridge those gaps.